I'm Feline Zuramgatton. I'm a Natural Environment Research Council funded ecologist at the University of Cambridge and I work specifically on non-native species in British freshwaters. Identification of the Chinese mitten crab. The Chinese mitten crab is incredibly easy to identify because it is the only freshwater crab present in Britain. It also has these woolly mittens on its claws which makes it incredibly distinctive. It reaches up to about 10 centimeters across its back and it has these four distinctive spines either side of its eyes. <laughs> you can identify a male from a female mitten crab by the shape here on its abdomen. This tight V shape indicates that this is a male. Whereas this U shape indicates that this is a female, and in this case, a gravid female. She's carrying here several hundreds of thousands of eggs, which she would then release into the brackish estuary where they breed. Ecological and economic impacts of the Chinese mitten crab. The Chinese mitten crab has significant ecological impacts on the areas that it invades because it's a voracious uh, detritivore. It, it eats almost anything in its path and it's a particular fan of small snails. It also burrows into the bank and it can reach incredibly high densities which can lead to instability in the bank and bank slumping and this has also further implications for our flood defence system here in Britain. It's therefore possible that the cost of the Chinese mitten crab invading could be exceptionally high although it's currently not quantified. The Chinese mitten crab is still spreading through Britain. It arrived in the 1930s and reinvaded in the 1970s in the Thames and has since been expanding its range and currently is increasing its range by several tens of kilometres a year, both inland and up the coast. Control of the Chinese mitten crab. There's currently no effective method of control for the Chinese mitten crab Although efforts have been made in Germany in the past to trap the Chinese mitten crab during its very impressive mass migration down to the coast to breed in October and November. If the, the mitten crab comes to an obstacle in the river as it's migrating down, they come out onto the land and literally crawl around any obstacles that they come across. And this provides us with an opportunity to trap the Chinese mitten crab. That said, it's proven itself relatively ineffective with the Chinese mitten crab still being a very prevalent invader in Germany today.